Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, this is Jerry. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make uh, your custom swords. Um, you can go to this website called Minecraft.NoobSkinMe. You go to the gallery, and there's a bunch of free textures here, including skins, um, weird textures, basically. So you could go axes, and you see a bunch of cool ones and some some horrible ones. And today, I'll be using an iron axe which is this one seems pretty high quality but you know it is extrudable so you can just hit on download and you have it downloaded so you want to make sure you're in material mode oh and I'm also teaching you blender render which is internal you can create a hammy to see things better I'm gonna hide it so it's not there in a way. Um, create a new material. I'm making an axe, so let's call this axe uh, iron. Let's create a new material. And make sure you're in image or movie, so you can hit open. Select your textures. Uh, it might not show up, but you see these things on the side? You can left click and drag it. Go to the image viewer, go to your texture, um, just zoom in and just go to the edit mode. Hit U on your keyboard, let me screencast so you can see it there. Hit U on your keyboard and you can do smart unwrap which unwraps it smartly I guess. That You only need that when you're doing like different wrappings so you could just hit U unwrap to unwrap it normally. So. Currently it has reflections, well if you want that, it's not reflections, it's spectacular maps. If you want that, yeah you can leave it on, I don't want it, so let's go to material, specular, turn that off, now you don't have it. So let's go to edit mode, hitting tab, I have these extra options because I'm gay. Um, you can hit W and subdivide, 2, 3, 4, 5. So if you put it 5, which is, I don't know, 16 by 16 or something, I don't remember. I like to count, so you do that. Um, you could go to, you could hit C to get these, the selection mode. I don't know what this is called, but you could scroll your mouse to get it big and small. And left click to select and hold down your middle mouse, your scroller key, something like that. To, to erase the thing you selected. You right click to get out of it and hit C again, select, right click to get out of it. Yeah, so you can hit 7 on your numcat, numpad. If if this happens, you can hit 5, so it goes to this really weird view. I forgot what it's called. But basically, you just select all the parts that you don't need. Uh, I'm gonna speed this up so you don't have to wait like 79,000 minutes. So. Now when you're done selecting all of them, just hit X and delete faces. Don't hit vertices because it'll mess up, edges will mess up, so just hit faces. So now that you got your sword, I mean your axe, you basically still need this, don't close it yet. Okay. So go to edit mode, hit A to select all the faces. Hit spacebar and type in edge just type in edge and you'll see edge, edge split here click it and over here is the rotation point you change it to individuals so when you scale it down it scales down individually instead of scaling the whole thing down what edge split does it, it separates all of these so it's not connected um, if you don't do edge split it won't be connected and whenever you extrude it'll have a little with color basically so you don't want that uh, you, you want to split it so edge split so now that they're not connected which means if you go to individual and scale it it'll scale by itself um, so just hit S move your mouse curve closer until it's like 0 or you could just hit S 0 which scales it to 0 which is like small as you could scale something in Blender now you could uh, close this uh, the texture shouldn't be messed up anymore when you did that. 
Now, let's get extruding. Uh, you obviously don't want to lose this thing in case if your computer is so bad that it crashes. So you could go save this somewhere else. Um, uh, I don't know. That's iron. Okay. So it's 2D now. Uh, you could just go to edit mode and select all the faces and hit E and extrude. There, you got you got your normal shit. And then you select the parts, you extrude even more. See, that's pretty uh, lame actually. I mean, yeah, it's, it's the original way of extruding. But if you want to do it like, I don't know, easier, where when you break it, you can still fix it. Um, uh, let's duplicate this and rotate this up so it shines underneath so you can see it as well. Okay. Now, what you want to do is go to the modifier. It's a wrench. You add modifier, solidify. It's a cube underneath, underneath a modifier called skin, which is a fidget spinner. So that's always easy to remember. Now, what it does is it just like, shoots in, out. But you see how the rotation point, it's in the middle. Like, you don't want to, the rotation point to be in the uh, side of the X. You can clearly fix that by just moving this up, and then it'll be in the middle. But now there's an easier way. On offset, it basically changes like the offsets. So you can put it on zero. So it's in the middle, and it actually it's on both sides. You can just look at one side and not worry about the other. Okay, so now to make the extrudings stand out more, you can hit N, open up your, I don't know, what is this called? Properties. You can check ambient occlusion. This basically creates shadows between objects. So here's the difference for something with ambient occlusion and without ambient occlusion. Okay, so you need to put your samples really high. You see these noise? Let me, you see these things? The higher you put it, the less you see it, so... Well, if you put it too high, your PC will lag, so... Let's not do that. Um, let's put this lower, because... Let's say... Somewhere around 0 0.08. Yeah, simple. Okay, so now you could go back to the top view. Selecting the parts you want to extrude out even more. So, in my case, I don't really know, so let's just select out the textures that stand out, which is like not the handle or something. There's some more here. Don't select the wrong textures. You could turn the modifier off so you could see the thing you selected properly, but I'm still gonna leave this on. Now let's select the middle part. And then hit P, and selection. See, what this does is it separates it, because if everything is one piece and you change it, they're all going to change together. So you separate it when you change it, it only changes one. So let's go here and make the thickness even thicker. Or we could go with a new style of extruding, which basically goes in this, which is pretty cool, I guess. It's not new style, but it's just not the typical kind of extruding where things get thicker. So now I'm going to select the outer edges. Now, we're clearly not going to extrude this, we're just going to separate this, so whenever we extrude the other parts, we don't extrude this as well. Um, let's select uh, some parts that stand out. So, now you got the simple shit separated. You turn back the thing on. Now let's see. Um, I want the wood to not be flat. I want it to be curved, kind of, not very curved, so I'm going to select the lighter parts. You can hit G to move it to see if you selected the right thing. There you go. If it's moving, it, it means you selected as well. Okay, uh, separate. Now I'll do this to the one last pixel. So currently you have this thing selected with the blade. Let's separate that. You want only the handle. Okay, there you go. You select it. You see how on the blade you left some wood there? You could just select them. Separate. And select them and shift select them with the thing that they should be together with. And then control J. 
which joins. Uh, sorry about the dog, just ignore it. Um, let's turn all the modifiers back on. Okay, so it depends on whether if you want this thing to be thin or not. In my case, I kind of want it to be thin, so let's put it here. Um, make sure you have it on, uh, as well as the camera, which stands for like show it or not in render mode. Let's make this thinner than usual, and a little bit thicker, and then I'll make it extra thick, and then it'll go back down. You see how you still have some light pixels there? You select these, separate, there you go, You're done. Let's make these thicker. Just experiment and see what looks good and what not, you know. There you go. You can make it like this, or like this, I'm gonna make it go like this. Same to this one, uh, it's going to go inside. So, this is gonna go thinner, this is gonna go even more thinner, so it has like a you know how handles are kind of circle? There you go, this gives it a bit of that look. Don't forget to save constantly in case if your computer is so bad that it crashes. This is by extruding some pixel arts. You can scale this up. Uh, and there. So now you can hit on Mac Mac instead of holding down control, which kind of does that for you. So you could just like select a wood, apply. Select this one, apply, but then for sure you're going to forget some of the one parts. So what you could do is apply and move it up, apply and move it up, apply and move it up. So apply, so you won't miss out any and combine everything and then the modifiers will get. Let me show you what happens if you combine them without applying. So let's select these. Um, there you go, they're selected. Control J. All the textures would be same and flat, so you can clearly tell the difference, but it will be more work, so. Okay, so now that you're done, you could just hit A to deselect everything, hit A to select everything, G, Z, and uncheck the magnet so you don't move in that really crappy form. So your axe is basically done, if like you apl applied it and it's, it's not enough, you just scale it. See, there you go. And now you can hit A to deselect, select everything, and Control J. There, everything's one piece. Now, when you hit R to rotate, it rotates in the middle. When you hit RR, it rotates in the middle. So let's go to the top view, hitting Z. Go to Edit Mode. You can see how the the rotation point is there. It's not, it's not this. This is the cursor. You see a little orange dot there. That's the rotation point. Um. If you go to edit mode and you move the object, you realize that it doesn't move. So whenever you put it on the edge here, it rotates by that point. So what you could do here is move it by where you want the X to rotate. In my case, I'm going to want it to rotate on this pixel. So don't forget where it is. Align it. If you want it like super aligned, you can zoom in a lot. And just make sure it's on the dot. So there, you have your X. So that's it for today, thank you guys so much for watching, leave comments down if you have any problem, I'll try my best to help you, and see you next time.